Welcome to the how-to section of the Wheelwood Disc Brake website. In this video, we're going to show you how to install front disc brakes on a Nissan 370Z. Begin assembly by bolting the rotor to the hand to the back side of the rotor using the supplied washers and bolts. Coat the caliper bolts with Loctite 271 and tighten in an alternating sequence. Torque to 85 inch pounds. Remove the front wheel. Use a breaker bar with the correct size socket to remove the bolt holding the stock caliper. Using a line wrench, disconnect the caliper brake lines. Remove the stock caliper using a coat hanger or a piece of wire to suspend it until ready to disconnect the brake line. Remove the bolt that connects the rotor to the hub assembly using small open end wrench. Remove the rotor from the hub assembly. Clean the hub assembly mounting pad with a wire brush so the new rotor can seat perfectly against it. Prepare to trim the dust shield by drawing guidelines. Cut using hand shears or similar cutting device. Slide the supplied washers and bolts to the bracket ears. Start with two of the provided shims that will later be added to or removed as necessary to ensure that the caliper is centered over the rotor. Tighten the bracket to the mounting ear and then torque to 75 foot-pounds. Slide two shims and a spacer onto the caliper mounting bracket studs. The shims will be used later for height adjustment by adding or removing as necessary. Install the assembled rotor and hat and secure the hub with two lug nuts. Wrap the caliper inlet fitting threads with Teflon tape and screw the fitting into the caliper, tighten with a small open end wrench. Slip the caliper onto the rotor and install the provided washers and lock nuts. Make sure the caliper is centered over the rotor and that the height adjustment is correct. If not, remove or add shims as necessary. Tighten the lock nuts. Torque to 35 foot-pounds. Slide the brake pads into place. Install the bridge bolt and tighten with a small open end wrench. Remove the spring clip that secures the flexible line to the frame bracket. Disconnect the factory flexible line from the hard line and immediately connect the Willwood stainless steel flex line to reduce spillage. Tighten until snug and reinstall the spring clip. Connect the other end of the Willwood braided stainless steel flex line to the hard line connection on the side of the upright and tighten. 